Hi guys, it has been such a long time since I have been able to even think about filming a video. And first I just wanted to start off by saying thanks so much for all the support throughout the years on my dental implant journey. I definitely will post a video on that. But today I wanted to talk about the birth of my son and my top 10 symptoms that I had of why I knew I was pregnant. And I remember being, or thinking I was pregnant maybe, and going on here basically to watch thousands of videos to figure out like, am I pregnant, am I not pregnant? But the first one starts out with working out. And I knew something was up because I was running on the treadmill, I avidly work out, and I could not breathe at all. I was climbing the stairs and I'm like, why am I out of breath? Because I consider myself being pretty you know, good shape because I'm in the gym every day lifting weights. The second thing is I had this like light, light pink spotting, which I thought was super, super weird. It was like a pale, pale pink. And they say that that's like your, some of the spotting you can get from implantation along with the third thing, which is the cramping. And it was like a light period cramping. So I almost thought that I was getting my period, which I didn't end up getting. So that was weird. The fourth thing was I was, I mean, the exhaustion was times like 100. It almost felt like I was jet lagged, like I had come from Europe and was jet lagged. It was that bad. So I would say if you are extremely tired, like you might be pregnant. So the next two things are my sense of smell and my sense of taste. Like my husband would make coffee in the morning. I could smell like the coffee, but like I'm talking like a dog. It almost is like, what I imagine a dog's sense of smell is and a dog's sense of taste because I could taste like every piece of sugar in dessert. And I know that sounds really weird, but it's the only way I can explain it. And for people who have been pregnant, I'm sure they understand like you literally can taste every like molecule in food and it is the most creepy thing, but it also makes like things that taste really good, taste super, super good. The next two things were constipation, which like lasted through my entire pregnancy. I feel for women because it sounds silly, but constipation is like one of the most annoying things and it hurts so bad if you can't use the bathroom. Along with being super lightheaded, and I guess that goes along with me not being able to breathe, but I almost felt like I was literally gonna pass out a little bit and people say you get really lightheaded or dizzy before you miss your period. So that was also really weird. Now that I think about it, this stuff is super weird. The last thing before my missed period and why I think that if I ever decided to have another child I would know I was pregnant was my dream. I'm talking about the most vivid dream. I remember having this dream of like I was in this room, this is really weird, and I was watching this surgery and I was watching a heart surgery be performed and I could see like every ventricle in the heart, like the blood was coming out and I could see it like everywhere. It was the weirdest thing ever. And I woke up and I was like, I think it's time for me to take a pregnancy test and I think I found out two days after my missed period. Jeez, if you're watching this video, you might be pregnant. And to me, the dreams and the sense of smell is like the giveaways. The other things were kind of like, you might not know, but that sense of smell, taste, I guess the taste stuff too, like how you could taste the food was super weird. So good luck. I hope you're pregnant if you want to be pregnant. If you were freaking out like me that you were pregnant, children are the best. Like I love my son so much. It's a lot of work, but it's the biggest blessing and I wish you luck. So anyways, if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel and I will be posting way more videos on pregnancy, my birth story, and also a little bit about my son, Micah. All right, I'll see you guys later, bye.